Festival season is right around the corner, so today I'm going to show you three looks that are going to be perfect for any festival that you're going to. And if you're new here, my name is Danielle. I'm a hairstylist here at Rebel Femme. Let's go ahead and get started. For this first look, we are going to be doing a festival staple. Lots of volume, lots of texture, and I'm going to be using some of my favorite hot tools as well as finishing it off with a bunch of cute little three strand braids. And we're going to be adding some Donna Bella hair tinsel. I'm going to be installing some 18 inch eye link Donna Bella tinsel. So this is what just one eye link looks like and this is a perfect way to elevate any of your festival hair. So the next time you come in at Rebel Femme, make sure you ask for some. So now that the tinsel is done, let's add some texture in there. So first I'm going to be using the Kenra Thermal Styling Spray. It has a hold of 19 so it's perfect for keeping your hair lasting all day and it's a heat protectant. And then I'm going to go in with the Donna Bella 3 Barrel Waver to give her some really pretty waves. Finish it off with T3 wand, just for some extra movement. So I'm prepping the hair with the thermal styling spray. You just need a little tiny bit. A little bit goes a long way. I'm just gonna brush out this section. I'm taking my three barrel waver and I'm taking my first section and letting it sit for just a couple of seconds and then I'm going to release it and see this last wave I'm gonna take my barrel and start it right there and I'm gonna push up so this guy can cool and lay in that section so it's gonna last all day and then I'm gonna leave the ends out and that's gonna give it a really beachy texture finish off the section with dry texture spray to give it a little bit of grit I love how the Donna Bella hair tinsel curls and it's heat resistant because it really pulls the whole look together. So now that I finished with my three barrel waver, I'm going to take my flat iron. Do you see these little like creases? I'm going to go through and just kind of smooth those out to give it a really lived in look. And then I'm going to take the ends and I'm also just going to kind of smooth the ends out. Once I'm done with everything, I'm going to take my T3 wand and just give it random random little curls to give it a lot of texture and I'm going to be curling away from the face. And one thing I love about the T3 waver is that it can get the job done very quickly so you don't have to hold the hair for very long. I'm gonna make it look extra mermaidy. And then I'm just gonna brush it out. See how the tinsel just makes everything pop? Now I'm gonna be going in and just doing a bunch of little braids and fishtails just to give it that really boho festival look. And I'm gonna take variations of bigger braids and smaller braids. So instead of using an elastic to tie it off, I'm just gonna take a comb and just kind of back comb it up a little bit just so that it stays without having to use an elastic. So I'm just gonna be working on a bunch of little random braids throughout. The more random, the better. And I will come back with the final look. I decided to get a little fancy and add some fishtails in there too. You could even leave some pieces out like this and then curl them. Again, the more texture, the better. And get some ASMR on there too, for free. This is the final look. I love how it turned out. I'm so happy with the texture that the three barrel waver gives us along with a bunch of these little tiny braids. The tinsel gives you that extra pop of color that you probably want. This look is perfect if you're gonna go party with Bad Bunny because he will definitely bring you up on stage.
All right, our second look or our day to hair, probably a little hungover. Um, we're gonna do something really easy so she doesn't have to think too much. And we're gonna do some cute and voluminous bubble braids. Just to get started, I'm gonna use the Kenra Texturizing Taffy just so I have a little bit of grip. And I'm just gonna rub my fingers. And I'm gonna section out my front two sections. I kind of want a good amount around her face just to make it really like light and feminine looking. I'm gonna take a pretty decent sized section. This will vary based on the density of your hair. But I wanna take a pretty, pretty big section. And the first thing I'm gonna do is take my clear elastic and just tie it off. So now I'm just gonna keep going down the section like so. And I'm gonna go about this much. And you're gonna wanna be conscious of making it the same width throughout each of your sections. And then I'm just gonna tighten. And I'm gonna use the Kenra Volumizing Powder. Give it a little puffy puff and just kind of pull it out to give it a really pretty bubbly look. So I'm just gonna continue on down, securing each of these little bubbles and pulling them out. And that's gonna complete the look. So one thing you're gonna want to think about, if you touch any of these after the fact, it's going to mess up the one below it. So if you want to fix anything, do it right away so it doesn't mess up your other bubbles. So I'm really liking how this is looking, so I'm gonna stop right here. The straight ends kind of give it more of a boho vibe, plus it shows off the tinsel. To finish off this look, I wanna hide these elastics, so I'm going to take this copper rose gold wire, and I'm going to cut it with these little wire cutters and I'm going to make it a similar size to my elastic so it easily wraps around and that's how you make an easy custom cufflink so these little cufflinks were inspired by the Hailey Bieber post that she just posted with her little bows but we are team Selena here at Rebel Femme so just to finish off the look, I'm going to touch up these front pieces. And I'm going to flat wrap the curl so that it's really loose. And I'm gonna leave the end straight. And flat wrapping is basically just taking this, instead of twisting it, you're flat wrapping it against the iron. I'm going to finish it off with some perfect medium spray. I don't think she'll mind that I spray it on her face, but maybe if you're, I wouldn't do it on yourself. And then I'm just gonna comb these guys out with my fingers. I'm just gonna finish it off with some texturizing spray, especially in the back if you wanna hold your hair up like this, just to give it some volume. This is our finished look for our day two hair. She's ready to go chug a beatbox, party it up with black pink. And this look is gonna keep her hair out of her face all day. Comment down below if you prefer the first look or the second look, and stay tuned for look three. Alrighty, so it's day three. We're about to go see Frank Ocean. It's hot, it's sweaty, the hair's going up. In this look, I'm gonna be doing a slicked back high pony. We're gonna be adding some little sparkles to it. This is probably one of the easier styles. If you want to slick this all the way back, you can, or if you wanna leave it a little bit more boho, I'm just gonna take a little tiny piece and leave it out. So then what I'm gonna do is to get rid of all of these flyaways, if you have any, Spray some of the Kenra Perfect Medium. Take some sort of boar bristle brush and comb it all the way slicked back. So once you get it to your liking, take an elastic and just tie it off. So once you get your first ponytail up, I'm just gonna flip it over and do the smooth out the back. The double hair tie is gonna give you a really secure ponytail. So now that we're done with our basic ponytail, it's time to go crazy with the accessories. So first, I'm going to spray down any little flyaway hairs. And I'm gonna get these bangs out of her face. I'm gonna take these cute little sparkly barrettes. Next, I'm gonna add these cute little star press-ons. So if you remember from our last video, I love rhinestones, so I'm gonna be reusing them again today because I think they're perfect for festival season. So I'm gonna take the bigger ones a little bit closer to the root area and then just kind of space them out. 
So for this final look, I'm gonna be taking that copper wire that we used last time. I'm gonna hide this ponytail holder. So I'm gonna start with a pretty deep hook. I'm just gonna kind of hook it into her pony so it doesn't go anywhere. And then just kind of wrap it around. I kind of just stuck it in here and then I'm gonna wrap it around. And you can also recruit a friend to help you. So just to finish it off, I'm going to take it and just finish wrapping it. I'm just gonna kind of hook it with my finger and then just kind of push it in. Woo, woo. So I'm just gonna finish off any pieces that I want a little bit more textured. You could totally skip this step, but I'm just doing it because why not? I'm just gonna finish it off with, of course, some texturizing spray. So this is the final look. She is ready to get to the front row, front and center for Mr. Frank after his seven year hiatus. So she's gonna use this ponytail to get people out of her way. Make sure you comment down below which look was your favorite, one, two, or three, and give us some suggestions of what you wanna see next time. All of the products that we use today in this video are available on rebelfem.com, or you can come on in in person and purchase them here as well. If you want us to recreate these looks in person, or if you just wanna add any tinsel in your hair, make sure to click down below and book an appointment with us. Don't forget to follow us on all of our social platforms like Instagram, Pinterest, TikTok, and make sure to go watch our last video right here on our YouTube channel. And we'll see you next time. Bye.